breaking news. Shows are one from the back, okay? Shows are one from the back, not the back, the back, okay? Girl, you look good, you look good, girl, but turn around to the back. Let's see what's going on. What you got going on back there? Oh, Lord, oh no. You got flabby glutes, girl. Glutes. You got flabby glutes, girl. You got flabby glutes, okay? That glute hamstring is not tight. That back is not wide. We ain't got no details. So although you look great from the front, you look good, but you turn around to the back and it ain't together, honey. We got to fix that, okay? And let me tell you something. The granddaddy of all exercises is the deadlift. If you ain't doing no deadlifts, you ain't doing no back exercises. I mean, what are you doing, baby, okay? So what I wanna do today is break down some deadlifts because I was in the gym the other day and I didn't have a lot of time, right? But I knew I wanted to just work everything in the posterior chain back there, okay? So I was like, what's one exercise I could do in the limited time that I have to really just, you know, challenge my body and do a little something, something. Deadlifts, honey, deadlifts. So I wanna break this down. I wanna go ahead and bring you into the gym with my workout to show you a couple of things that you need to do to get that deadlift popping because I just see so much stuff going on with the deadlifts, child, bad form and all this other stuff. It's no wonder y'all hurting yourselves. So let's go ahead and break this down. The first thing I always do, make sure you warm up, honey. Okay, make sure you warm up your body before you go into any kind of training, whatever like that. You wanna make sure that you do at least five to 10 minutes of cardio to get the blood flowing. Go ahead and foam roll because that's really important to loosen up any tight areas that you might be having. And then let's go ahead and jump into the strength work. I always start off my deadlifts with a warm up. The first thing I like to do is just take a clean bar, no weights on it, and just do a couple of reps straight up and down to just get my body ready for the heavier loads ahead. Now this is the perfect time to go ahead and practice your form. One of the biggest mistakes a lot of folks make when it comes to doing their deadlifts is that they're not using that hinging motion from their hips. The deadlift is gonna go ahead and target the hamstrings, it's gonna target the glutes, and it's gonna target the back as well. And in order to really do that, you've gotta be using that hinging motion. So many people are doing more of a squat when they're deadlifting. They're lowering the weight down with the load in front of them, and they're bending their knees too much, and sometimes keeping their chest erect as well too much. You ain't doing nothing but like a front squat with that, okay? If you really wanna do a deadlift, you gotta let those arms hang down, hold on to that weight, keep your chest nice and high, brace your abdominals and send those hips way back to the other side of the room while keeping your torso flat, coming to a nice 90 degree angle with your body and then hinging the hips forward as you stand up, squeezing the glutes at the top and standing up as tall as you can. That is a proper way to do a deadlift. Now, if the weight is too heavy for you, you're finding that your lower back is hurting, or if you're rounding your shoulders forward, or if you just feel like you can't control that weight, lower it down. There's way too much ego lifting happening in the gym these days. It's not about how heavy you're going if you can't control the weight. And forget about it if you're going to be injuring yourself in the process. Lower that weight down, because as you can see in my video, honey, listen, I didn't go too heavy, but that's just because I hadn't deadlifted in a while and I wasn't gonna go ahead and try to hurt myself or nothing. But I'm just saying, still, you wanna make sure that you're mindful that form over everything is the most important. Now let's talk about grips, because listen, I got my hand bruised. I bruised my hand doing this deadlift, honey. Okay, listen. I should have been wearing gloves, and I do advise that if you have little sensitive hands like me, okay, because you don't do a lot of hard labor, go get you some gloves, girl, okay? Go get you some gloves. We'll talk about that in another video. But when the weight starts getting really heavy, one of the things I really like to do is hold on with a mixed grip. With your mixed grip, your hands are just gonna be facing in opposite directions and how you're holding the bar. And this is really great if you don't have the strength to be able to hold a heavier weight in your hands, like if your grip is really weak, kind of like mine is right now, this is really helpful to kind of be able to stabilize the weight in your hands. But one of the other ways that I really like to get my lats more involved with the deadlift is holding on with a little bit of a wider grip. So thinking about your hands being slightly wider than shoulder width apart, and as you're coming up, you wanna feel like you're spreading your lats and standing up nice and tall, so that way you're really using your upper back at the top of the motion, as well as the lower body with the glutes. The key thing that's gonna really hit every muscle from head to toe, or would it be head to heel? Yeah, head to heel in the back, is making sure that as you're going forward, that you're thinking about your chest going forward. I always say Dolly Parton boobs, girl, get them boobs out as you send your hips back because that's gonna help your body to stay parallel, your torso to stay parallel to the floor at the bottom of that motion. And then think about driving your hips up 
as you stand up into the top of the motion. Now, of course, I'm showing you guys how to do your basic deadlift with your feet apart, but there's so many other ways you can do it. Another way that I love to hit up deadlifts is keeping my feet together and thinking about squeezing between the legs and that glute ham tie-in as you're going up and down, honey, let me tell you something, that's gonna develop that area back there for you. Thumb glutes is gonna be tight when you turn around, okay? They just gonna look at your glutes like, honey, yeah, you, you dialed in. You dialed in, you look good. So play around with that. Deadlifts are the best exercise that you can do hands down. They are the granddaddy of all exercises. You master that, you're gonna have a lot of increase of strength, stability, and more improve your posture. It's just, it's chef's kiss. But this contest prep stuff is tricky, I know. And training the right way is so important. So if you're looking to be smarter about how to approach getting ready for your show, whether you're off season, or if you got your contest coming up, or if you're a complete newbie, go ahead and get my free contest prep crash course. Scan the QR code that you see on your screen right now. Do you know the shape that the judges are looking for when it comes to the physique and who wins? And this shape is seen no matter what division you're in. Oh, honey, it is the X frame. And if you want to win, you better have a phenomenal X frame. But how do you do that? Oh, honey, listen, I'm gonna hook you up. Go ahead and watch this video right over here. because I'm gonna break that down for you so that way you can go into that next show and win, baby. I will see you over there.